Today we are going to discuss about examination of the orbit, which is very uh, crucial in the examination of uh, diseases of the orbit, especially in patients with proptosis. Today we've got a patient with unilateral proptosis on which we're going to demonstrate the method of examination. Today uh, we're going to start off. So he's been there for three years. So we are going to see that he's got an obvious proptosis and proptosis is easily seen upar sar upar karne. If you ask the eye person to look uh, straight up, see the either up light mein dekhe, if you look from below, see the dekhe, so there's one option to see the eye, the cornea in front, going in front of, from this side. The next thing is to bring the eye forward, downward, and you can see from just by inspection that the eyeball is proptose. On the left side, there's inferior scleral show. Uh, on the uh, lower side, and there is a hypoglobus or the eyeball is displaced downwards in this side. The next thing you want to see, there's slight erythema on this side, but there's no, and there's fullness of the orbit superiorly, inferiorly. आंखें बंद करें देखिए इधर दोनों साइडों पे एक जैसा महसूस होता है या फर्क है नहीं फर्क है इधर ज्यादा महसूस है इधर ज्यादा इधर कम है और इधर 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 ज्यादा महसूस होता है तो ही से दैट ही फील्स मोर अ सेंसेशन ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड कंपेयर टू द अदर साइड आंखें बंद करें सो दिस इज द एबिलिटी ऑफ द आईलेट नॉट टू क्लोज कंप्लीटली इज लैग ऑफ थर्मोस सो इज अबाउट 2 मिलीमीटर ऑफ लैग ऑफ थर्मोस यू सी इन दिस पेशेंट ओवर हियर or this, and the other eye is completely getting closed. And you can see the lid seems to be giving a bluish appearance because the cornea is shining through this area. Now we want to check the MRD1. This is the, the function of the lid. So you, you check uh, on this side. If you check the height on this side, look, it's becoming about three or and the other side is coming about two millimeters. One thing which is very important is to check for dystopia. For that, I'm to say if I localize one area in the center of the nose and I put 40 over here and I bring it, one is a way is to just keep it over here and then check how much the reading comes out from the center of the cornea in this area. So if I say this comes out to be 20, 20, 20 around about 28 over here, and on this side, it's either they can ask, asking the patient to completely look over this side. So it comes out to be the same in this area. So it seems to be something which is just causing axial proptosis rather than a non-axial proptosis. And the other thing you want to see and put the align the, the, the ruler just at the center of the pupillary light reflex and keep it horizontally. And you can see more or less they are coming at the same level and there's very little amount of fibroglobus which we initially thought might be there but it's not verified on that thing the next thing you want to do is you check the rim of the orbit the dard to nahi hai kisi jagah pe so you want to check there is no uh, fracture of the orbit of this area idhar dabane se kuch cheez to nahi hai lacrimal sac you want to see if there's any swelling or inflammation the other important thing is retropulsion. So if I press it on this side, both fingers going backward. So you can see the, the ability of the fingers to go backward is present over here. While if I do on this side, this is firm over here. This is one thing. Next, I want to just check with the light coming in. You can see the, the Hirschberg test is normal, so there doesn't seem to be any exo or esotropia in this patient. Or Abne Samne either the Varkita to cheese the radio skit of Deke, number kit of Deke Samne, Sida Deke, then you want to do a cover test first. There's no movement and do cover test on this side, and then you can do an alternate cover test on that side. The next thing is to check for any extraocular motility problem. Is me do to another area, ek another area, do another area. Ye the key red dot, ek a do. और अब इसको इधर लेके जाऊं इधर देखना है सर नहीं हिलाना और इधर देखना है इस लाल नुक्ते की तरफ देखना है देखें इधर देखें इस तरफ इधर देखें ये लाल नुक्ते की तरफ ये नजर आ रहा है दो तो नहीं है नहीं और इस तरफ देखें इधर एक ही है इधर so because of the proptosis you can see there's absence of sclera on this side when the eye moves towards that side on abduction इधर देखें 
But because of the proptosis, you can see it seems like the adduction is limited on this side because you can see the, the sclera on this area. Similarly, going on abduction, you can see the sclera is uh, showing a show on that side. So those tells you the motility. Then you want to check for the pupillary light reflex, which we already checked. It did not show a significant RAPD. There was a mild RAPD in this patient. And uh, the other things which we want to see, the dark person mask niche kar lenge. You want to see the nose, naak upar kar lenge. Or usme se dekhenge ke if you want to uh, shine a light and say, see if there's a nasal pathology or mook hole. Or you want to see the palate to check if there's any signs of any muco or mycosis. You upar kar lenge mask. Okay? So the, those are the basic examination steps which you see in uh, patients of proptosis and the inference we get from this patient is this patient seems to have axial proptosis and it seems to be a significant proptosis. We already have a video on uh, using it with a Hertel except thermometer but if you don't have a Hertel except thermometer the other method is either side either curling. You will find the lateral margin of the rim and put this ruler over here the lateral margin or sida dekhe straight dekhe. See the samne ustra de. This is coming out to be uh, somewhere about 18 millimeters on this side. Or sir, either karle, aise karle. Or isi tarah, if you put it over here on the rim, you can see. If you put it over here, you can clearly see that it is going right up to up to about massive proptosis of around. You see the apex of the cornea is going about 40 millimeters. That's pretty significant. And the the septum has uh, is lax. You can see the the globe is significantly proptosed, and in these patients, sometimes you can get these. The eyelid can go actually behind the globe and cause a luxation, globe luxation as well. So this we are suspecting. We'd like to see an MRI to see the cause of the axial proptosis. The main things which you can see is either a glioma or a meningioma or a cavernous hemangioma in these patients with a differential diagnosis. So thank you very much for watching.